Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got an epic video for you guys. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys practically how to cheat on Siege with Brock. Now no, this isn't a cheat. This is very reminiscent of when uh, Penny, when everyone figured out that Penny turret can absolutely destroy on Siege. And we're going to be showing you guys how to completely take advantage of Brock's gadget on Siege. Now this does work on all maps, but it does work best on this map. So I would highly recommend using it here. Again, you can use it everywhere else, but I again, highly recommend using it here. And again, you can use both star powers, but the first one is better, so I would recommend using the flame incinerary. But with that being said, let's hop into the games. We're going to be playing with randoms to challenge ourselves, and let's see if we can show you guys exactly how to do this. Okay, so here we go into the first game. Again, we're playing with randoms. We're going to be going up against a Daryl, a Pam, and a Nita. Now, with our comp, that's not too great, but we're going to try and show you guys this sneaky, sneaky move on what to do. So we're going to go on lane, obviously, first. We're going to be able to hit two shots over there. Now, I'm just going to run up the side. As you guys can see, we're going to be able to kill the Pam. Let's just get this uh, just because, although we don't really need it. Uh, so we're going to try and run away. We are getting followed, unfortunately. So hopefully they just forget about us. I think they are going to. So you guys can see, I'm going to wait until I have 3k HP. And now what I'm going to do is take three shots over here and then just jump. So you guys can see, I did 26% to the safe or to the Ike and I didn't go down so again we're gonna do this again one two three but this time there's a bot and literally all you have to do is hit it three times and use your gadget and jump right back out it is the most broken thing in the game it does 26% every time and essentially guarantees a one push so with that being said we're gonna grab a new set of randoms let's hop into the next game and let's see if we can do it again Okay, so here we go into the next game. Now, what I really like about this is that it's very one push-esque and it makes the games very fast. So on this map, usually siege games are usually the full three bots, about two and a half minutes. But what you can do doing this strategy is basically go in all or nothing. Now, a lot of people might not like this strategy, but it might actually not be an all for nothing. If you guys do have teammates and you guys can use your teammates and make them go Pam or something, you guys have really good defense and it won't matter. So you guys can see one, two, three. You can even auto aim it. It's fantastic. Now, I did mess it up over there. It, you can mess it up. It's very possible. You do have to time it correctly, but it's not that hard. You do usually get the hang of it. I haven't done this in a while, um, so it is. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit rusty with it, but I am trying to pick up and see what we can do here. So we're going to be able to hit that shot. I'm going to go into these bushes over here, and again, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to wait one, two, three, and then jump. I'm able to stay alive. Now, I only hit two shots because of this Shelly. Or no, sorry, I only hit one shot because of the Penny or Shelly. I am going to go down, but we have done a really good amount of damage. So I don't necessarily need to do too much more because at this point, all we have to do is defend and then we should be able to win the next bot and do enough damage. So let's see how we can do here. Again, we are facing a Shelly, so it is pretty good because Shelly obviously is not that great in Siege. Going to use our super. We don't need our super to defend at all. Oh, we are going to get destroyed over there but again we don't need our super to defend uh or to attack the ike all we need it for is just to kill people so we have a pretty good chance at defending this although our defensive brawlers aren't too great we do have a carl and gene and brock which obviously isn't really the best defense but it is pretty good so i'm going to try and defend over here we're doing a pretty fantastic job given the brawlers that we have right now they're going to try going with an all-in strategy penny's going to do a ton of damage shelly oh my god one shot oh my god this is so close. It's at 270 HP. Now we got to keep them totally off the safe. So now instead of going all in and instead of trying to do that strategy I showed you guys earlier, what we want to do right now is just relax and try and hold mid control. So I don't think the Shelly will be able to do anything, but we do have to keep a very close eye on these two over here. So we're able to hit some shots. We got to get the kills. We're able to get the kills. Again, if that Penny does throw turret anywhere in the zone, it is going to get the kill on the on the Ike. So we do have to be very, very careful here. My eyes are on this Penny. It's trying to make a move. I'm going to be able to get that kill. Now we just got to watch out for this Brock over here. It looks like my teammates are going to be able to handle it. The Shelly is on. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to end this safe. Um trying our best getting another shot we're gonna jump over and oh my god what a crazy game we're gonna end up with the victory so that was pretty crazy shout out to these randoms hopefully they're watching the video um but with that being said let's hop into the next game and let's see if we can get a one push just with brock and in fact not even a one push just a win with just brock i've done it a few times before it's pretty rare so if we can get it in this video it's gonna be pretty amazing but let's see if we can do 100 percent damage with just brock so here we go into the next game. We're going to be going up against a BB, a Colt, and a Gene. So a pretty good comp on there. And we're going to have a Colt and a Jesse. So we're going to go up the left side over here. 
Aiming down this left. Looks like they got two in mid. I'm going to go over here. Hopefully the Colt doesn't know what I'm doing because a few people do know about this strategy. So the Colt looks like he does know. So we're just going to get two shots off on him. Oh, we're not able to get two. Going to go for that shot over there. We're going to be able to get the kill. Now, unfortunately, they did get first bot. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and die over here. Uh, we're going to get two shots off. Going to do about 20% damage. It's going to do 19, okay. But we're going to have to defend over here. So basically what we did is we just brought ourselves into a defensive position, which is obviously what you want to do. And we're just going to defend. So we're going to do a decent amount of damage. Again, our comp doesn't do too much damage, but we had pretty good defense. So not too bad of a, uh, of a defend at all. Got to try and get this BB over here. I'm going to just super myself, try and keep this BB off of me. Going to go to the side, get, take a couple shots. Not going to hit now. This BB might know about the strat, might not. Going to go for a few shots over here. Going to jump out. Only going to be hit by one shot from the Ike, but we might go down over here. It is very possible. Going to go for a kill over here. Oh, we are able to get it. So we did do a good amount of damage ourselves. So let's see if the bot is going to be able to one push over here. We're just going to chill on the side and be sneak. Take our time. No reason to risk our life. So, one, two, three shots taken. Also going to go for the super. So, we're doing a pretty uh, tremendous amount of damage. And, in fact, that's going to be able to end the game. So, we should get star player over there. You are very, very likely to get star player if you are doing this. Because you are doing a ton of damage to the Ike. Now, with that being said, 3-0 with random so far. So far, the Brock has gotten star all games. Let's hop into the next game. And let's see if we can keep this up. Okay, so now here we go into the next game. We're going to be going up against Piper, um, Jesse, and and bb so i actually know one of these players and they're not that bad so this might actually be a pretty difficult game gonna move up lane now they might not be very woke on the strategy so i'm gonna go around okay so this is good this is very good we're gonna be able to get some clean shots off over here gonna jump uh kind of messed it up but still worked out anyways so now the piper knows what our strategy is so it's gonna try and defend us it's gonna jump back so i'm just gonna move back a little bit over here Maybe we can kill the Piper, and instead this could be kind of like a defense. Piper's going to kill us, but we were a pretty good distraction. Uh, the Piper did stay back, so hopefully they don't do too much damage over here. Just going to tank the bot and have the bot stand in the fire, which is going to do a ton of damage. Hopefully that Gene doesn't pull. No, Gene! We're going to get it anyways. Plus it missed the pull, so that's not the greatest thing in the world. But we do have the damage lead because of the strategy. So again, what we're going to do is move up this left lane over here. The BB is very aware of the strategy. Um, it looks like they now know what we're doing. So let's see if we can just hide from it. Good bubble. I'm just going to let that one go through. I'm going to try and super this BB. Going to hit it a couple times. Now they do know our strategy, so this is getting a little bit toxic, a little bit hard for us. Um, trying to hide. Oh, and they're able to tap us. So we do have our bot. This is probably going to be our one push of the game since they are doing pretty well. So we're going to have to do, make the most of this push. So moving up over here, they do have really good defense to start off. Wow. This is going to be a really tough one for us for sure. Oh. I don't really know what happened over there, my bad. Oh, but they the Piper breaks the wall, which is going to allow us to get some shots off. We're going to do really good damage. We're going to go for the all-in. And that Piper might have just thrown the game. After playing well, it breaks its own wall. And that one's going to give us a win. So we didn't get star there. We didn't really play the greatest that we could. These guys are very woke on the strategy, but you're usually able to get 26 to 50% off. So let's hop into one final game. Hopefully we can get the double. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into our final game. We're going to be going up against Penny, Brock, and Lee. Leon so that's pretty crazy um gonna have a Piper and a Penny we actually had this Penny before on our team good to be playing with it again gonna take a couple shots we're able to hit one over there now we're gonna sneak off and try and do our strategy looks like this Penny is woke on it though so we're, what we're just gonna do is go in and just die over here we're gonna guarantee the percentage we're gonna do 28 percent and that's just a really good start to be honest if we can do 28 percent every now and then we only have to do it twice in order to get a really easy push and be able to kill the bot. Um, so let's see if we can get that kill. We are able to get it. And there's a Leon over there. So again, just going to take some shots at the safe over, or at the Ike over here. And again, you guys can see, look at the percent of damage we have done so far. It's pretty incredible. Now we can just stand here and tank this bot. Um, but we're going to let it do a little bit of damage. And we're going to walk up and see if we can damage their safe now. So we did do more damage just with two Brock suicides, essentially. More than they did with their bot. So that's pretty incredible. Their Brock's going to try and defend... They know, it knows we're over here, so this is pretty scary. Not much we can really do at this point. Um, we are one shot, so we are going to go down. So it might be a game of whoever gets the uh, the bolts, but I think I did cause enough of a distraction for us to win. 
it does look like it appears that way and we are going to get a level four siege bot so let's not go down over here because obviously we do a ton of damage and we want to stay up so let's get some shots over here we're able to get that kill got to stay away from this leon i'm going to put a hole over here in the wall going to jump over this to try and prioritize staying alive piper please get that kill piper is able to and we're not going to be able to get the kill over there that penny's going to go in and try and do some damage i'm going to sneak up the side let's see if i'm sneaking up the side enough in order to get this kill come on one two three that should be enough and it is going to be able to so we're going to do a grand total of above 80 percent to the safe the bot did nothing we absolutely popped off and that is as close as we're going to get this video to an 100 percenter alone with brock so anyways that's going to be it five for five with randoms i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys did and you guys want to know crazy tips and tricks like this obviously let me know in the comment section below smash that like button hit the sub that's going to be it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed i will catch you guys again tomorrow peace